morning for class i am your sst teacher students welcome back to the class in our yesterday's lesson we discussed about small scale and large scale map today we are going to read two examples that will further clarify the concept please have a look at the topic map of the world and the continent look at the small scale map of the world it is showing the seven continents of the world and here is the picture of the world map as you can see here is the title of the map which says world map if you look at this map you will find out that the name of the continents are written the name of the oceans are also mentioned but details of any of the continent is not available for example if you want to know in detail about the continent asia the map is unable to tell you about it because small scale map tells us about a large area but they do not tell us about the details of those area here is the map of asia look at the map of asia showing the continent it is more detailed than the world map it is showing all the countries in asia let us have a good look at this map here this map is the map of asia and it is a large scale map large scale map mean it is telling us in detail about the continent asia and you know Pakistan is located in this continent Asia Here is Pakistan we are located Pakistan is located in the south of Asia and you know another important fact that Asia is the largest continent in world in terms of population it is the most dense continent in terms of population so here is a detailed map of it if you look at it you will find out that russia is the largest country in terms of area then china it is also a very large country here is the pakistan here is the mongolia let us have a look at the neighbors of pakistan here is india then pakistan also shares its borders with iran afghanistan and china and then there is a sea in the south of the pakistan and its name is arabian sea so it is a detailed map of our continent asia right now we are going to solve a worksheet regarding the scaling and the map of the asia students if you remember i told you that maps in the maps we reduce the difference with the distance and if you remember i also told you the ratio i told you that 1 cm on the map is equals to 10 km in real life now if we want to measure the distance between the two countries let's say for example we want to measure the distance between pakistan and mongolia now what will you do you will take out your ruler on your ruler numbers will be written on one side inches will be written and on other side centimeters will be written you will take out the centimeter part and you will keep it here and measure the distance between these two points let's say the centimeter scale says that the distance between pakistan and mongolia is it's only a supposition let's say it's a 10 cm so 10 cm you will have to multiply it with 10 to convert it into kilometers and then you will have your answer and we do so because the distance on the map is reduced because map is not the life size on the map we reduce the size of the objects and the distance between them Now that I have told you how to solve this worksheet let us look at the questions what is the approximate distance between Pakistan and Burma you will use the centimeter side of the ruler and you will measure it and then you will multiply it with the 10 and write your answer here in the blank 
What is the approximate distance between Pakistan and Mongolia? Approximately how far is Japan from Pakistan? Approximately what is Sri Lanka's length? And approximately how long is Pakistan's border with India? Please solve this worksheet. If you are having any difficulty or you are unable to follow the procedure, please do let me know so I can help you with your homework. Right now we are going to solve another worksheet. It's a very easy worksheet. We just have to put the tick in the right section of the multiple choice questions. If you see this is the map of the world and here we have a direction indicator that will tell us about the direction of the different areas of the world. Here is the worksheet. Let's read the questions one by one. How many continents are there? Dear students, in this world there are seven continents. Which continent is directly south of Europe? Now let me tell you how to solve it. Open the world map and find the Europe. Here is the Europe. Now you will take the help of the compass rose. Here is the compass rose. Compass rose is telling us the south is in this direction. Please follow this direction and you will find out that Europe in south of the Europe there is Africa. So please solve your worksheet. Here is the Africa. Then in which continent is Pakistan located? Pakistan is located in continent Asia. Which continent is an island? Australia is a continent and it's an island. In which continent is Canada located? Canada is located in North America. Which ocean touches both South America and Asia? Again, you will have to consult the map and then you will find out the answer. Which of the following is not a continent? USA is not a continent, it's a country. Which is the largest continent? Well, I have told you that in terms of population, Asia is the largest continent. But here they are asking about the continent in terms of area. So please, again, you will have to consult the map. Which is the smallest continent? Australia is the smallest continent. It is small. That is why it is referred as the island. If you were in the South Africa and decided to travel west, what continent would you go get to first? Okay, again, you will have to open the map. You will take the help of the compass rose. It will guide you and then you will find out the answer. Which ocean would you cross if you travel from New York to Europe? New York is in America. Please keep it in mind. Please have a look at it, student. Here is the America. And New York is the city in America. They are asking if you are traveling to Europe, which ocean will you cross here is the Europe now you have to travel from this point to this point and this is the ocean that you will have to cross North Atlantic Ocean here is the Atlantic Ocean and the last one which ocean does not border North America again go to the map check which ocean is not bordering the North America and fill it accordingly so this was your homework for today Today we have solved the worksheet about the map of the Asia and this worksheet in which we have done the multiple choice question answers. Please do it and upload your picture of the homework in the comment section. From today onward you will upload the pictures in the comments of this video. Have a very good day students. Thank you so much. Take care.